hope that you are well. Today, I'm going to be doing a little video talk through thingy vlog about my hair. This hair, what I have done is I have a, I'm going to do a little summary of what my journey that my hair has been on this year and stop waving about the hairbrush. Um, I'm mm, worried that my boobs are coming out. So, I have naturally brown hair, kind of like this colour here. So it's quite dark brown, but it goes really light in the summer, especially when I lived in Spain. But, um, I wanted to go blonde, so at the beginning of this year, on over like three sessions, I had highlights put in my hair and I was completely blonde. Insert picture here. I loved going blonde. It was so much fun and I really enjoyed it. 2017 I was mostly blonde and I really liked it. Towards like a month or two ago, towards a month or two ago, <laughs> I um, decided that because I had bleached hair, that meant that I could colour it. So I experimented with a few of uh, these in different colours. They're the L'Oreal Colorista um, hair dyes. So they're wash out and it kind of pastels out as you wash it. I recommend it. It's not for everyone. I've seen loads of mixed reviews online, so at your own risk, but for me it's worked quite well. Um, so I tried pink, which I don't think I have a picture of. I think I've got a picture of purple, which I'll put here. Um, and then I tried blue, which I love. Now, I used to have the blonde at the top and the blue at the bottom. Now that's how I left it before I went to the hairdressers. And so I went to the hairdressers and the thing that I wanted to do was stop having to do the maintenance on my roots and having actual blonde hair because it really was becoming quite a drag. Plus I didn't like having like to tone it every month at home and stuff. Anyway, so I just thought I'll go back to brown for my roots, but this, which is like most of my hair is bleached, um, should stay blue. And that's what I've done. So the blue has now faded a good bit. I mean, it looks fairly good on camera but it looks a bit more uneven in real life. Well, you can maybe see it actually. Um, so I'm going to put it blue again. This is the indigo one. I don't know how well this will come out because this isn't exactly the one that my hairdresser used, but I'm not too worried because this one looks kind of purpley and the purpley kind of blues, the more like denim -y side of blues is the one that I like as opposed to more like turquoise -y. And this is kind of going a bit turquoise now. Um, it's because of the green, because of the blonde underneath. I'm learning loads about colouring this year. <laughs> Using this is real easy, so I'm just going to talk you through um, how I do it. So you have to start with washed hair, washed dry hair. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm just, And then I'm just going to essentially put the blue dye over the bits that are already blue. The risk is if I go over the bits that are brown, there's kind of like a grey situation going on. So we're going to try our very best not to do that, but at the same time not miss any bits, especially around the fringy areas. And then you just wait 20 minutes and wash it out. So it should be super easy. I've done it like four times now, so I'm pretty comfortable with the process. So I'm just gonna go wash my hair and I'll be back with you in a minute. I wash my hair once a week, so it's important that you put this on clean hair. That's why I like washing it, drying it, then putting it on, then rinsing it again. Cause I feel like it shouldn't go on top of dry hair shampoo or hair oil or anything like that. So now I've washed it, conditioned it, and I'm gonna put, I'm gonna dry it and then show you how to put the color on. So I don't know how well you can see, but I've blow dried my hair and it is quite light now. You can really see the blonde kind of coming through the blue, so it definitely needs doing. I'm going to put the colour through my hair and wait 20 minutes. So here's a speed run. It's now all on. I've done a pretty piss poor job of keeping it off myself. Um, so I'm just gonna run it like a flannel over me so that I can especially, what is that? That's terrible. Um, so this is just gonna go on for about 20 minutes and in 20 minutes I'm going to rinse it all out and uh, we'll see what we come out with. <laughs> I have now rinsed the blue off and you can see I don't know how well you can see it in this light. You can kind of see that it's got like an undertone of blue and wherever it's a bit drier. You can definitely see the blue. So I'm going to show you it dry once it is dried and you will see what the colour payoff has been like. But it does look the colour that I would expect it to be when wet. <laughs> so now that it's dry mostly, I'm just gonna curl it. So I'll show you how I do that. Um, I have... Oh, curling tongs they are 
HD Magic Curl times five. They came with tons of barrels. And I used to have this real thing for corkscrew curls, like around last Christmas time. It was so cute. I would just like do all it in corkscrews and like mush it up. And essentially, I just want to perm, like, but I'm not brave enough. <laughs> but um, I'm thinking I'll just do really big curls. And I just want it kind of like big and voluminous, but like with definition. So uh, that's kind of what I'm gonna go for. I haven't done it before. I'm really not very good at hairstyling, so do not take tips. Um, it's probably more of a how not to do it tutorial. <laughs> so I put it uh, up to 200 degrees because I have fairly thick hair and it can take it. And honestly, it just takes ages otherwise because um, it, I'll have to like hold it in for 20 seconds, which is also bad for your hair, so. Mm. Oh, yeah, I look like an idiot, sorry, I've started sectioning. In terms of products, I've put in some of this Freezius Dream Curls. Um, it's fine, it's like a nice protecty thing. And then I also put in some oil, um, some Elviv oil, I think it is. It's the colour safe one, I really like it. I put that on like nearly every day to freshen up my ends. This is it, kind of halfway through it. I'm just got like the top layer to do and this one you can you can't see anything and this one's just got this little pom-pom to go um yeah I've just been kind of going through it. it it really isn't much I mostly do mine back the way but I do some front wise because I hear that that makes it look better I don't know, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but yeah no it, it's now like dry and you can really see the color of the blue once I like brush it through and um, set it and stuff, uh, I think I'm gonna be really happy with the colour. It is just nice and dark because it fades out, so um, with this wash, I must look really silly right now, <laughs> with this wash um, I will be able to last pretty much like another month. That is the curling done. It's obviously now very um, kind of ridiculous and bouncy, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait for it to cool because um, kind of like for it to sit a little bit a bit and then once it's cooled I'm going to brush it through and then hairspray it. So this is the uh, finished product. It's now brushed through. I've put some hairspray in it and it's pretty much gonna hold this hopefully for a couple of days and um, yeah I love it. I don't often do this but um, I want to get into the habit of doing it a little bit more because otherwise my hair is just always like and it's nice to have it like this but yeah the blue is now perfect i mean this is i just wish it could stay like this all the time but unfortunately it does fade so you have to top it up so i hope you that you've enjoyed the video and i will see you tomorrow